Hi, I'm John Davis. I'm a guest on Queen Latifah. Come on, baby, let the good times roll. Come on. I'm rehearsing a, a live show now that I'm doing called Come On, Baby, Let the Good Times Roll. It's all 50s music and stuff. Uh, people that might have seen me on That's Incredible or Hollywood Squares or $100,000 Pyramid might not know that I started as a singer and I'm still singing. I still do my live entertaining show. So, nice to be here. Uh, I always have to shift gears when I'm hosting because uh, a game show host or a talk show host, you have to realize that your job is to make everybody else look good and to kind of step back and you can't, you know, you can't do your thing. Uh, and so that was a big lesson for me to learn as an entertainer when I came to hosting this type of show. On That's Incredible uh, with Fran Tarkington and Kathy Lee Crosby, uh, we, we were spotlighting other incredible people. And, and we all had our own careers. And so I would come in and host a Hollywood Squares, make like 10 shows in two days, and then run out and do my live show or do a Broadway show or a Broadway week or something here. Um, in those days, I was doing Curly in Oklahoma a lot and Music Man, playing Harold Hill and Music Man and touring, and then come back and do a game. It's like really shifting gears because you have to kind of put the old uh, performer's ego in your pocket and, and uh, make other people look good. Everybody knew that whether it was Hollywood Squares or my talk show uh, or, or Pyramid or whatever, if you could get Betty White, Betty White was the number one guest, and she probably still is. She's just so sharp, and she's a little twinkle in her eye. You know, is she going to be a little suggestive, a little sexy, and a little naughty? And uh, Betty White, White is so sharp. Um, and then there's other people like Joan Rivers, you know, who's so clever and so smart. You know, they they played, they may have sounded uh, dumb at times. I think Joan Rivers tried to, you know, not sound smart because it wasn't funny, but very hardworking, smart lady. Uh, well, this year I'm doing one night concerts, doing my live show, which is a lot of 50s uh, and uh, um, uh, pop songs too. Like, Heavenly shades of night are falling, it's twilight time. I still love to sing and, and put jokes in the middle of it and stuff like that. And then I also still do Broadway shows. All last year, I was the Wizard of Oz in Wicked, my favorite Broadway musical. If you haven't seen Wicked, make sure you see it. It's, it is, the production value is worth millions of dollars. And the story about these two girls, about the witches, it really isn't about the wizard, but I was the wizard for all last year, and I hope they invite me to do it again, because it's fun being the Wizard of Oz.